Barack Obama and Vladimir Putin do not see eye to eye. With every meeting, the body language tells a tale of growing tension. Just last night, Mr. Obama gave his rather dire impression about relations with Moscow. They slipped back into Cold War thinking and, right. and a Cold War mentality. And, and uh, what I consistently say to them and what I say to uh, President Putin is, that's the past, and you know, we've got to think about the future, and there's no reason why uh, we shouldn't be able to cooperate more yeah. effectively than we do. It's all a far cry from 2009, when then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and Sergei Lavrov, her Russian counterpart, were able to laugh around a button symbolizing the reset of relations between the two countries after growing tensions during the Bush administration. There was progress for some time, but deep differences remained. And Washington's been infuriated by Russia's recent decision to grant temporary asylum to intelligence leaker Edward Snowden. So this morning, the White House made an announcement. From missile defense to arms control, trade, global security issues and human rights, there's just no progress in talks with Russia. And so there's no point for the two presidents to talk. The Moscow meeting scheduled for next month is off. Mr. Obama will still attend the G20 summit in St. Petersburg. And the line about Mr. Snowden may make it look like an afterthought, but it really was the breaking point. Washington and Moscow are also at odds over Syria, where the war has been raging for two years. Russia supports President Bashar al-Assad, including with arms, while the U.S. has called on him to go. A further breakdown in the relationship between the U.S. and Russia bodes ill for any peace talks. The Russian foreign and defense ministers are scheduled to meet their American counterparts in Washington on Friday. The ball is now in Russia's court. Kim Ratas, BBC News, Washington.